Hello, Damien Nicklebot of the UFO hunting group Mufart. I'm going to call that from now on so people know what Mufart is. We're doing another mini investigation tonight. Wow, my YouTube viewers might be interested in this. I want another chance to see if there's anything out there. And my parents are out for 30 minutes while they're at a restaurant and I'm staying home. Only because I want to see what's up in the night skies. And I've got a good perch out this window and out my side window. So let's get this, let's get the, the living room window, window ready so I can look at it. From this angle. Although, truth be told, it's not a very good perch because there's too much reflections even with this light off. Um, I'm gonna have to turn off the dining room light too, I think, and if it's still not good enough, we can't use the living room. It's pretty dark in here now. So yeah, um, it really isn't a particularly good perch. I rarely ever see anything around there anyway, so... Let's go out for the first five minute stretch, four minute stretch, we're going to do it for four minutes. Look out the side window again like we did two Sundays ago. Okay, first four minute stretch. I thought I just saw a light over there. I don't know. It's a very cloudy night out. I don't see many stars at all, in fact none. I want to make sure the hand strap is right. Yeah. The hell is that? Did you hear that? Nothing out there to speak of right now. Um, and I got my camera really well charged for this because I wanted to do this for a second time in two weeks. I'm thinking that maybe because it's earlier out, I'll get more stuff on f on film, on camera. It's a lot earlier than the 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. slot I normally do an investigation in. I'm thinking 6 to 7 p.m. might give me more footage of something out of the ordinary. I don't know. I'm just doing this because I really like doing it. And I don't know what that sound was. I'm assuming it was someone talking. I'm not going to really pay attention to it. But, there's nothing out there right now. All the reflections you see are ones I've seen before in the previous one, so I'm completely discounting them. I think that's a dog, actually, is what I saw or heard. A dog. God damn it. See that? Is that something on the window? I don't know. I think it is. I'm not sure, though. Hold on. Yeah, that's a spider on the window. Just completely discount that. There's nothing unusual about that. Oh, come on, focus. Okay, thank you. I'm certainly not noticing anything out of the ordinary right now. That damn dog is really annoying. Yeah. I think that's just a spider, that thing moving around. Just ignore that, that's nothing out of the ordinary. You can tell as I pan my camera around, it's in front of the trees and in front of the window. So, we will do three minute stretches because I don't think I can handle any more than three minute stretches. Because anything more than that is just too much for me to handle. Leaning in front of this window is costing my muscles quite a bit of... I don't think I can do it anyway. So that first stretch is over. Let's do a little topic in the other room. Okay, we're back for another uh, night sky viewing three-minute session out here after I talked about some stuff. I don't notice anything out there right now. Um, oh, I noticed something now. 
Did you see that flash of light? Did you see that? Yeah, that was weird. It was just like the other flash of light I saw last night. It's a good thing I did this then. Or well, last time I was looking through this window, I saw something very similar over here. But this one was more like over here, and it flashed and then disappeared. I'm going to keep an eye if I see it in other places of the sky. Then it will be possibly just be a plane in that case. But I don't notice it right now. It's like it just stopped flashing. Very weird. Now, it could be a reflection. I don't know. There's nothing up there to reflect it. So, yeah, that, I just caught a UFO on film. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, um, I just saw it flash over here, too. Maybe it's just a plane. I don't know. I'm not sure. I gotta look at the footage much closer. Um, there, flashed again right over there. This does look like eyes. What the hell? You see those? See that? I don't know. That kind of resembles Mothman, weirdly. I mean, it's just a tree, right? Come on, focus. Focus, you stupid dumb camera. Focus. Although this is not a bad camera, it just has focusing problems. Mothman? I don't know. It's standing totally still. It ain't flying around. It's too big anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I can't get good footage of it, but it's weird. Um, yeah, that could be just a plane, I think, maybe. Because I saw it over here, and I saw it over there. First, there it is again. And it's moving awfully slow to be a plane. It's weird. It's blurring when I try to get close to it, which is very strange. Yet it's flashing all the time. And it doesn't look like it's not flashing. I bet it will flash in a few more seconds. It's weird. It doesn't behave like a plane should behave. It stops suddenly in the middle of the air and starts flashing and then moves. First it was over here and it moved over here and flashed a few times. But it seemed like it was moving too slow to be an airplane over here, but not over there. It's, it's a very strange thing. Um, come on, unfocus, focus, focus. I demand focus. All right, good, it's focusing. I don't know. I don't know what I just saw. It's just very, very odd. But I'm glad I caught it in this three-minute Skywatch session, and I'm done. Okay, we're back out here for another three minutes period to look to see if we see anything out of the ordinary. Um, that light was strange moving through. It moved too fast on this uh, side here and then got really slow here and kept flashing here and is is the weird mothman like entity still there yes what the hell is that can you tell me what that is I mean it could be just bark of a tree it's too light but once I start zooming in it's gonna blur okay so what is that is that just bark of a tree? Uh, I'm going to keep looking at this to figure out what this is. I can't really tell at night. But let me zoom out to see if there's anything in the sky. Because I don't want to concentrate on that too much. That just could be a tree. But I'm going to just double check to make sure no one's home. Briefly. Sorry to interrupt this session, but... Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Um, I don't know what that is. That that weird thing. I can't tell you, people. Uh oh, it's back. I mean, this could be an airplane. I don't know, but I got some weird stuff on footage tonight. Multiple different UFOs. This is great. Um, I mean, that could be just a plane. I don't know, but I only saw it for a few seconds. I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, um, definitely weird stuff going out, going on tonight out there. Um, oh, did you see that? I don't know what that is. I'm not sure it's not a reflection, actually. But yeah, 
I'm going to keep an eye out this window for another three minutes. Okay, my legs are driving me nuts, by the way. It's probably the last time I'll ever do this. I liked doing it, though, because I caught some really good evidence this time of something out of the ordinary, maybe. We'll look at it closely with the footage and see if the footage, after it being enhanced, shows it moving in any weird ways, either, either one of them, anyway. Either one of the objects, we'll see if either one of them moves in a strange uh, way an airplane can't, or hovers, or something like that. Um, I mean, these just could be planes, for all I know. The one I saw last time was not a plane, but... Uh, oh, wait. They're coming from that area. That one came from right here. And it's blurring again. Hold on, hold on. Alright, I'm zooming in again, slowly. No, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. That, whatever is there is now gone, actually, I think. Um, but enough of that. I'll look at that in, a, in another time, I think. Especially during the day. Uh, that might just be a tree trunk. I don't know. But yeah. Um, some weird stuff out there tonight. Did you see that? Weird. Oh, another, another one. They flicker and then they stop flickering. Are they being obscured by trees? I can't tell. It's too dark out there. But whatever is out there, it's definitely weird tonight. Okay? Okay, we're back. I'm going to record another three minute stretch, hopefully without being caught, and that's the end of this investigation once this is done. Let's see if I see anything out of the ordinary. Um, if I don't, I don't. But those lights were strange. I have to look at the footage much closer and, and analyze them tonight. Um, I'm interested in seeing what they might be, if they're planes or not. Um, but I need to get them on film first before I can look at them closely. If I don't see any of them moving, if I just see one little flash of light, then I'm assuming it's not a plane. Because a plane can't do that. Why would it flash only once? It would be moving across the sky, I would say. If it's moving towards you, you wouldn't see it only flash once, would you? So, I don't know. You know, I want to zoom in on... What the hell was that? Did you just see that? Oh, someone's coming up our street. Hold on. Is that my parents' car? No, it's not. Did you see that flash of light before I looked at the car? It came right from our anomaly, that tree over here. I think this is just a tree, but it's it's blurring whenever I approach the tree. If that is a tree, I don't know. I'll have to look at that during the day to find out, but I think it's just a big-ass tree. Um, but, yeah, that's... Over here is another flash. You see that? Now, this could be just a plane. I'm just jumping to conclusions here, like I do every time when I see these things. But, look. Look at it. Another flash over there. Holy shit. Did you see those flashes? They're bizarre. I don't see them moving in a certain path. I just flash and stop flashing. Um, I haven't seen anything quite like this since. This is one hell of a UFO investigation. Whoa. What is that? A plane? Come on. Focus. This thing won't focus. I don't think that's a plane. I don't see any flashing lights on it. It's just pulsing and moving across the sky. It's extremely bright. Wow. That's great footage. That is great footage. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Damn it. Focus. 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 That doesn't look like a plane to me, but it's not focusing yet. Wow. Holy shit. Look at that. 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 That's so weird looking. Look at it. Look at it. What is that? What the hell is that? That's enough footage for now. That's so bizarre looking. Actually, that's actually just a plane. I think that's just a plane. 
I'm looking at it with my own eyes. Yeah, that's just a plane, guys. I'm sorry. I just mistook a plane for a UFO because the blinking light of the plane is getting really close. So that's just a plane, all right? I didn't see the blinking light on until I looked at it myself with my own eyes. But yeah, definitely a great night. I mean, that last one, if that was a UFO, that would have been UFO catch of the fucking year. But no, that's just a plane. I can see it really closely. But there's another one out there. I just saw it quickly. I hope this camera picked it up there. Little flash. All seem to come from that tree area. Very weird. Um, I'm going to stop at four minutes. All right, and then the end of the investigation will be done. I'll post results in a separate video, people. I hope you enjoyed this mini investigation. Damien Ichabod out. Those lights I saw tonight were very weird. They were very similar to the lights I saw during the last mini investigation, the ones that flashed. At least one flashed in two different locations, or they flashed independently at different locations if it was more than one. I didn't see something moving and flashing. It's more like seeing it flashing at one spot, and then seeing it flash in another spot, and not seeing it flash again at all in the place we would see it to the right of that. It's almost like there was multiple red flashing lights out there. I don't know, I didn't really get good um, footage of them, but some of them were flashing from a tree. Which does not make sense. I was zooming in on the tree. At first I thought it was Mothman. Don't ask why I thought it was Mothman. It looked like Mothman. It looked like it had glowing white eyes. Although Mothman has glowing red eyes. But still. Um, I, I zoomed in on the tree. And I swear some of the flashes were coming from right where that tree was. Now I have to look in that area tomorrow. Or look... Uh, at the area in the photograph I took of it a few days ago and see what's there. Is that a tree? Or is something mysterious going on? Because if the lights are coming from that tree, they're not a they're not a plane. If the lights are coming from right where that tree is, what could they be? I mean I don't know. It, it's very strange though. It's extremely strange. I'm not sure what they are. I, I don't think they're coming I don't think they're coming from the tree, but near the tree, but Let's say they're coming right from the tree, then what could they be? Ghost lights? I don't know. I just know this wasn't a normal plane light, because all I saw was a bright red flashing light. I saw some white moving lights too, and including a big plane where I zoomed in and thought that was a UFO. That was my mistake, okay? I didn't see the flashing white lights with the camera. It was unfocusing. I couldn't see them. I thought it was a UFO for real at first. But then when I looked at it with my own eyes to double check to make sure it wasn't a plane, that was what failed me, and it became a plane right away. Or I'm not saying this was a UFO that became a plane, but let's say it was, because there are reports of stuff like that. I'm glad I filmed it. I'm not going to delete it just because it's mundane. But there are reports of UFOs becoming planes. I've read multiple reports of them doing this. Okay? I have read reports of UFOs pretending to be planes. It's weird. Some guy saw said he saw a UFO flying into a cloud and a plane came out a few minutes later. Like it was stuck in there and changed its configuration or something. Um, well, did I just see that myself? I can't tell you. I don't know for sure, but it's an interesting little topic to talk about. I mean, what was that thing? Was that a UFO or a plane? It sure looked like a plane when I saw it move close to me. It was close. I could see its lights on its wings. I zoomed in and saw one big white light. I didn't see any other lights, though. The footage did not pick up those two other lights. The camera did not pick them up. When I tried to aim at it, it was unfocused, and I couldn't see the lights at all. It was a camera. I could see them with my own eye when I was looking at them without looking through the camera. But when I had my eye looking at the LCD screen of the camera while I was aiming at the direction of the object, there were no other lights but one white light that the camera could see. I'm wondering if this thing was not a plane. Because I'm guessing with the things that are UFOs that become planes, they're just making the visitor see a plane by altering their minds through brain waves. Was that what was happening to me? I don't know. I usually don't believe this crazy off-the-wall stuff. But if my camera couldn't pick up the lights, 
then it has to lend credence to the theory that it wasn't a plane. But I don't know for sure. I have to look at the footage much closer, okay? I'm not done yet. The footage has to be examined all night, and I will do an update video on the results of this whole mini-investigation tomorrow. Because i got to look through the footage multiple times, freeze frame, all that kind of stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this mini-investigation. This is probably the last one I will do this month. I don't even know if I'll do another one, but I got much more results in the mini-investigations than I did in the main investigations at night. This, you get more weird stuff as of late at the earlier time frames. Last two years ago was the exact opposite. You'd get nothing at 7 or 8 p.m. You'd get a shitload of stuff past midnight. Uh, this is inverted to make it so that they don't want me to see them. But they're coming out earlier now, so when I go out there earlier, I am seeing them, whatever it is. Well, that's the end of this mini-investigation. I gotta go, people. I'm gonna look at the evidence and the footage much closer. And I will be back with an update tomorrow or the day after. And I'll be doing more videos on my channel about various different UFO topics. The Fact and Fake series will continue. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. There's one I want to do, but I don't know if I can determine if it's faked quite yet. That might take a while. I will do one on Nibiru, though, because I know that's fake. So enjoy, people. This is the end of this mini-investigation. I don't know when the next mini-investigation will be. We will see.